Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. And I see the SNP are reverting to form after the last couple of husting meetings where each of the candidates at one point or another opened their mouths and put their foot firmly in their gob. The SNP have decided that they weren't going to live stream last night's event. So what do they have to hide? Well, today I'm going to be looking at each of the candidates. We're doing three videos. Uh, we're going to be looking at each of these candidates and saying why they're all unsuitable for high office. Uh, and we're going to begin with, of course, Hamza Yousaf, who is the least suitable for high office uh, because he is the most moronic, stupid, inefficient and the one with the most terrible record of everything he's ever achieved. So we'll begin with him and we'll be looking at the latest figures for the Scottish NHS. And they don't make good reading, especially if you need to visit a hospital anytime soon. Let's have a look at this. Right, so we'll look at this one, which is Disaster Hamza Yousaf oversees soaring number of long waits on the NHS. Uh, Scottish Labour has turned the spotlight on the health minister's terrible record as he continues his push to become the first minister of Scotland. Uh, and there he is, look, he, uh, sort of vaguely not caring about what he's done for the health of the nation. Uh, he is completely useless in every job he does and we're about to see the proof that he is even worse than useless when it comes to being health minister. So Hamza Yousaf has been branded a disaster for the Scottish NHS as Labour again shines a spotlight on his failures. The focus this time is on the soaring numbers of long waits and a series of missed targets. That guy couldn't pee down a toilet, he'd miss by a mile. Uh, the party says new analysis suggests the number of people stuck on waiting lists for more than two years is now almost five times higher than when the SNP leadership hopeful became health secretary in 2021. So in a little over two years or a little under two years, should it be a little under two years, uh, a two year, those waiting for two years on the NHS still haven't been seen. There are people, to put it this way, there are people who were on the waiting list before he became health secretary and they're still on the waiting list two years later. How is that in any way a good record? People are living lives of pain and misery because that man cannot do his job. Uh, it's uh, the, the figures have risen 365% in that time. Scottish Labour says that's the equivalent of almost 8,000 Scots who have been waiting for more than two years. And it's shocking, 75,000 have been waiting for over a year. 75,000 over a year. When you could be in pain, you could be worried about whatever ails you. There are going to be undoubtedly people passing away from preventable causes, people who would have been saved that will undoubtedly be dying because that man is incapable of running his portfolio. It is disgusting. Uh, the figures have been branded shameful and the Scottish Labour health spokesman, uh, spokesperson, Jackie Bailey added, Scotland's NHS is in chaos with thousands of Scots stuck on waiting lists for years on end. The number of people waiting years has spiralled on Hamza Yousaf's watch and one promise after another has been broken. And you can't blame Westminster and you can't blame the Tories for this one. NHS is entirely in the hands of the SNP. Hamza Yousaf has been a disaster for the NHS and his credibility is in tatters. He cannot keep failing upwards. Uh, Mr Yousaf has emerged as the favourite to replace Nicola Sturgeon as SNP leader, only amongst the SNP, not amongst the country. I think everyone in the country who's not SNP, and quite a few in the SNP, uh, would suggest that he is not the best person for the job. Uh, anyway, however, he has been widely criticised with Scotland's health service in disarray. In fact, everything he's ever touched is now falling apart and is in disarray, and it's absolutely shameful. Uh, the NHS has suffered its worst winter since devolution. Now, worst, as in worse even than the pandemic. Uh, with A&E targets regularly missed and waiting lists getting longer continually. Uh, and despite that, Mr Yousaf is believed to be Nicola Sturgeon's preferred candidate to take the keys of Butte House. She 
uh, wants him in because she knows she will control him. She will be the puppet master. He will be her glove puppet. Uh, but you wouldn't want her hand anywhere up your backside pointing you around and telling you what to do. But that's how it's going to be. The people of Scotland, she may have gone as first minister, but she'll still be the de facto controller of the nation if he gets in. Uh, he is up against Kate Forbes and Ash Regan, both of whom have looked to distance themselves from the current regime. In contrast, Mr Yousaf is seen as a continuity candidate. Yeah, continuity SNP. And it isn't good because where you are at the moment is just awful and getting worse. Uh, anyway, that's uh, enough on him for the moment. I mean, I'm sure as the weeks and days and weeks go on, uh, we'll be looking at a lot more of the woes of Hamza Yousaf. Uh, but anyway, I'll finish here. I'll come up and we'll round off the video for this one. It's very hard to find something positive and good to say about Hamza Yousaf. Every portfolio he has held in government has been an unmitigated disaster. Uh, transport, law and now health. Nothing he has done, nothing he has ever tried has ever been a success. And yet one looks at his record and sees failure after failure after failure. And he knows we can see these failures. And he still pushes himself forward in the mistaken belief that he's capable, that he's the best man for the job. That man is not the best man for any job. He is useless and he must never be given control of the nation. I mean, think how much damage he could do to everything else. He's damaged all three that he's done so far, had control of everything. It would be the end. It would be like Armageddon. You would be leading a life of quiet misery. And it would be a short life because you wouldn't be getting to hospital, would you? So under no circumstances must this man be allowed to be the leader. And I hope even SNP people realise that having him in charge would be the most awful time possible for everyone in Scotland. Please God, not him. But anyway... It's likely that he's going to be, unfortunately, because the SNP voter, your average SNP voter, will vote with, not with their head, but with the instructions, oh, this is the one that Nicola wants. They won't use their brains, unfortunately. Anyway, I shall finish there. Thank you very much for listening. If you like what you see in here on the channel, do please hit that subscribe button. It keeps them honest if we can give a louder voice. And every every like is a louder voice. Every comment is a louder voice. But more importantly, every subscription is a louder voice. So help me watch them. Let's, uh, let's, let's keep our eyes on them. Uh, but until next time, stay safe, stay well. Dear God, hope we never get Hamza Yousaf as leader. And goodbye.